Hi, this is Jennifer with HauntedWisconsin.com, and today we are in Sheboygan at the Dominion of Terror. And I am here with Jenna, who is the 2013 chairperson of the Dominion of Terror. So um, what year is this that you guys are uh, operating now? Uh, this is our 39th year. Wow. Yes, we started in 1974. So how did you guys um, start this? Well, it was before my time, but we're part of the Sheboygan JCs, and they wanted a fundraiser to donate money back to the community, so they thought what would be a great opportunity, and they started a haunted house, and it's grown ever since then. So um, where do the proceeds go? Uh, they go to a bunch of different communities. It's the chairman's preference. Uh, one that we always do is RCS Empowers, which is uh, a company that hires uh, disabled people that do uh, packaging and um, working in a factory. Uh, so we donate a large chunk of our proceeds back to them because they rent this building out to us. We do a lot of it for like their Christmas party or their theater productions every year. And then the other two I usually keep a surprise until the end but I know this year I want to do um, it's kind of like shop with a cop oh. but this time it's kind of like shop with a monster where we take some kids from the Salvation Army and take them Christmas shopping for their families. So. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, that's when I was really excited to do, and I knew when I could share it that I was going to do that kind of donation back. So how many people does it take to put on this? It varies. Uh, Construction-wise, we've had, you know, like 100 people come down here over the whole summer. Uh, every night, though, it takes about 85 people, staff and monsters, to run the house. And then when do you guys start building? Do you have this building year-round where you can actually work year-round, or do you usually just start closer to the season? We do. Uh, we have done a tear in April for the last couple years, but this year I decided that um, our layout was a little, you know, needed a revamp. So we actually tore down in April this year, and we've been building ever since. <laughs> so it's been a very long summer. It went by really quickly. So yeah, we started in April. And where do you guys get your ideas for all the different rooms that you have? Because there were some very unique rooms that we saw in there. Uh, this year, uh, I've been with the haunted house for four years, and I knew the minute I walked in I wanted to do a theme house. Uh, it's our first ever themed house, and I thought we could maybe pull it off this year. Um, it's the Twisted Fairy Tales and Nursery Rhymes. So what I did is we did brainstorming sessions, and I gave them books. And all the books had the fairy tales and nursery rhymes, and I said, how can we make this twisted so and a lot of them already were and we just had to put them into a room idea so I this is something I've been working on since probably November 1st of last year in depth wow. so <laughs> takes a lot of planning to put one of these together yes, it did and I couldn't have done it without all my room builders and committee they're a blast and they're very dedicated to the theme house which I really appreciate Great. Do you have any um, special events coming up, maybe children's matinees? We do. On the 26th, we have our children's matinee and Munch with Monster. It's from 2 to 4. Uh, we have a lights on trick-or-treating where the JCs and our volunteers hand out candy. And then we also have a craft area where they can do uh, like uh, puppet monster. They can decorate a brownie with dirt and gummy worms and they have some games where they can get prizes. And then we have the photo ops with giant blow up things and the fire truck comes and they hand out uh, trick or treat bags and b uh, batteries for smoke alarm awareness month. Yes. That is neat. And what um, ages is that geared towards? Um, it's usually from kindergarten to about fourth grade, fifth grade, but we encourage parents and kids to dress up when they come through. And uh, what dates and times are you open this year? Uh, we are open every weekend in October from 7 until 10, but next two weeks we're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which is the 24th, 25th, and 26th, and then we're open Wednesday the 30th through November 2nd, Saturday. Okay. So we have nine days left. And uh, where are you guys located and how can someone find you if they haven't been here before? Located at 2024 North 15th Street in Sheboygan. Um, it is an abandoned warehouse off of Geely Avenue, it's a little south of Geely. Uh, there is construction in Sheboygan, so I recommend uh, Googling it and getting directions. <laughs> but we're pretty f easy to find. We got the big billboard up top of the building, and we got the lights going. And if you ask anybody around here, they have all our flyers and know where we are. Great. Yes. And where can people go if they want to get more information? Definitely go to our website. It's www.dominionofterror.com. And we're also prevalent on Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter. And don't forget to check them out on hauntedwisconsin.com. And uh, be sure to come on out because it's a great haunt and it's for a good cause. Uh, check them out at Dominion of Terror in Sheboygan.